Welcome to Fine Cuisine and Etiquette with your host, Oliver Gerald the Eater, your guide to the finer things in life. And I wanted to comment on a viral interweb trend which one website called the Spackification of Caviar, wherein a peasant on TikTok named Danielle Matson applies Kaluga Amber and Kaluga Gold Caviar to a variety of snackable vessels including Doritos. Now just uttering that sentence puts me in the mood to club a baby seal, but I'll try to keep my emotions in check. Because clubbing an entire puppy mill and poking the tummy of every fat little child like the Pillsbury Doughboy wouldn't be half as scandalous as putting fine cuisine like caviar on a peasant receptacle like Doritos. It'd be like serving Chateaubriand over Takis, or smoked salmon garnished with grits. On the one hand, we have caviar, or salt-cured fish eggs produced from wild sturgeon in the Caspian and the Black Seas. And then there's Doritos, a flavored tortilla chip that's about as classy as a dingleberry. The first one has adorned the plates of nobles and royalty since the 10th century. It's the archetypical way to flaunt one's wealth, to prove your cultural and moral superiority over deadbeat who can barely afford a Big Mac. The second item is renowned by gamers and virgins, often one and the same. And they leave your fingers looking like you explored your girl's nether regions during her time of the month. To even suggest that the two foods are remotely compatible betrays one's peasant upbringing. You're about as low-born as a stink beetle and twice as ugly. Having caviar is about asserting your cultural supremacy over those whom God chose to be poor and smelly. Not about teabagging random strangers on the interwebs. The idea of snackifying caviar was popularized by Matson, but it's become this fad that spread like a virus through electronic means mainly TikTok. In Matson's 200,000 subscriber special, she lays down the proverbial gauntlet. Kaluga Imperial Gold Caviar, the so-called least oceanic no briny caviar with earthy flavoring. And she pairs that with nacho cheese Doritos, the ugly American of snacks. We are using Kaluga Imperial Gold, which is the only freshwater sturgeon that swims in the Amur River. She tries to deflect some of the blame for her this unholy pairing onto her brother, the Caviar King. But responsibility rests squarely on her delicate shoulders and her pussy-whipped boy toy. She takes one of those low-born chips, adds some sour cream, and slathers a treat on top that's more expensive than the average peasant's weekly salary. She may as well spread goose quill jam atop fruitcake or bring your own fat little child for lessons at the Royal Ballet. I think even Americans can do better than this outrage against everything good, decent, and expensive. Be sure to show your appreciation for my efforts with a like, and I shall return to educate the great unwashed messes and all those of good letters and breeding on the finer things in life and delightful cuisine.